When it comes to inserting a picture into your worksheet, it's very simplistic. We'll go over some of the basic modifications of the picture, but if you want something more detailed, then I recommend you watch my PowerPoint or Word training videos, as by nature, especially PowerPoint, that's a very visual application, and so we do more with pictures there, as well as shapes and objects. But to get you introduced to it, into Excel, let's go ahead and insert a picture by coming up here, clicking on the Insert tab, going to the Illustrations group, and click on it to expand it if you can't see the features down below. Then go ahead and let's select Pictures. Opens up my Insert Picture window. Let's go over in the Navigation pane, select the Desktop, and then come over to the main view of the Desktop and find my father-son gaming picture. Double-click on that. And, whoa, those guys are intense. Let's go ahead and click and drag the image, which, by the way, just click on the image, and you can move it to left, right, up, or down. That's why you get the four-way arrow that you can see right here to move it in any direction. And then those circles that you see around the image are called resizing handles because when you hover over one of them, you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. That means it can go left or right. So when I click and I hold the left mouse button down and I go in, I can resize it so it's smaller horizontally, but man, they're stretched more vertically, and vice versa, top or bottom middle resizing handle will collapse it in. And if you want to start over again, then come up here on the Format tab to the Adjust group, and it's right there, Reset Picture. So if you cropped it, if you resized it, and you applied some styles to it, click on its corresponding drop-down arrow and say you want to reset the picture and size, and you're back to where you started. So then I can go ahead, let me scroll down just a bit, hover over the bottom right hand corner, the resizing handle there, and you can't go wrong with that when you click and drag in because if you try to go too much vertically or horizontally, it's not going to stretch it one way or the other or make the picture look stretched one way or the other because it's going to keep it proportional. So cool. And then in addition to the resizing handles, you get this little arrow pointing in on itself. That's the free rotation handle that when you hover over it, you get a black arrow pointing in on itself that when you click on it, you get four black arrows pointing in on themselves that when you click and hold and go left, hey, it starts rotating. Whoa! Go for it, boy! <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and let go of it. Now, when you click and hold it down, hold down the shift key, and you tilt to the left, it goes in increments of, I believe, 15 degrees or thereabouts. In any case, they're just bouncing all over the place as they're playing their video game and then let go. Now, if you don't want to resize the picture by freehand, clicking and dragging, and you want to get it just to the exact number numerically, then with the Format tab selected, and the only way you can see it there, when you click off of it, you can't see it, go ahead and select your image, is the Contextual Related tab to what you have selected down below, in this case the picture. So come over here to the Size group, and there you go. There's the Height, and you can see when you hover over it, the Shape Height and the Shape Width. There's the pop-up. So if I come up here and I change it from 2.38 to 3, notice that this will update as well because it's going to keep it in proportion. It's not going to allow it to stretch. So when I type in 3, hit enter, it updates to 4.5 for the width. If I type in 3 and hit enter, this will update the height to keep it proportional. So hit enter, updates it down to 2 inches. Now if you don't like that, you want to be able to say, okay, I don't want it to keep it in proportion. This has got to be 2.1, that's got to be 3.9 then you need to uncheck the lock aspect ratio which is found by clicking on its expandable dialog box button for the size group, click on it, opens up the task pane and there's your height and width fields again and there's the rotation if you want to type it in numerically as opposed to clicking and dragging it and doing it by freehand then there's the percentage so right now of its original size it's at 48 percent for the height and the width and there's the culprit lock aspect ratio so if I uncheck that unlocks it so I can mess with the height or the width and whoa they get stretched into some sort of like widescreen movie format and then if I don't like that you can come down here and reset it oh no now we're back to the way we were but I don't want it that big and I don't want to shrink the height without checking lock aspect ratio so I can keep it in proportion with the width so let me just go ahead and shift home to select it hit 3 hit enter now it's more manageable and then close out. And then if I want to crop it, like I don't want so much space over to the left of his elbow here, come up here on the Format tab to the Size group and click on, well you can click on the Crop button here and it gives you the crop handles, or let me go ahead and click on it again to remove it, or you can click on the drop down arrow and click on Crop, it's the same thing as clicking on the Crop button there, or you can crop it to shape, like into 
a heart. He, because when they're playing together, they're having fun, and it's just all about family love. In any case, let's go ahead and hit undo. Well, that's what it is. It's family love. Isn't that fabulous? Let's go ahead and click on the crop button, and then hover over the left middle black crop handle. And when you do that, you get, it looks like a T. I don't know if you can see this, but when I hover over it, it's a T tilting over to its side that when you click and drag in, that's where it's going to be cut to. This will be the space that gets cut off when I come back up here and click on the crop button and it's cut off. And of course, if you want to undo that, you don't have the undo button, but you don't want to reset the picture to go back to its original size. Then come over here and click on the crop button again and it leaves it uncropped, at least allowing you to go ahead and hover over that right middle cropping handle and click and drag it back out. So you're back to where it was. Go ahead and click on crop again to deselect it, or you can hit the escape key on the keyboard. And then what about some picture styles? Come up here on the format tab to the picture styles group, click on more, hover over any one of these, and you can see down below in the worksheet that it gives you a preview of it. And so go for one that looks great. How about a reflection? And then also maybe you give a thicker border around the picture, maybe picture effects, something glowing, glowing, warm, glowing, glow. How about orange? Ooh, that looks kind of spiffy. One last thing is that if you don't have a picture on your computer that you'd like to use in your spreadsheet, go online. And to do that, let me go ahead and, well, it's time for you guys to put your game up, so let me delete it to get rid of the picture, and it's gone. Come up here and click on the Insert tab. Go to the Illustrations group and go to Online Pictures. And let's type in Go, something spooky, hit Enter. Ooh, that guy's a happy ghost. I like him. Go ahead and select him. Click on insert. Oh man, he's pretty huge. So you can go ahead and go over the same steps that we just went over with the father and son and resize the picture either numerically. It gets kind of hard when you get a huge picture to scroll all the way down to click and drag it and push it up. So I just come up here in the size group and type in something small. Then I don't have to scroll around to get the bottom right hand corner resizing handle to then go ahead and make it just so. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.